I time us to do another video, and and this one is it, it, you know perspective. Taking a step back, and and what I'm going to be talking about is that you know sometimes people have NDA experiences. They tell me when they have that experience, it, what happens to them, it gives them the opportunity to take a step back, take a step from this life. You, you, you get to see a much bigger picture, and let, let me talk to you about the big picture. We talked about this before. We had, before we were born, we had we had a life. We had we were we existed. Once you're created by God, you're in existence for for all eternity. It never ends. You just continue and continue for all eternity in that relationship with God. Let me go ahead and just give you that perspective again. And before we we had all we had all this knowledge. But we're born in, into this world. And we have to be limited. Why are we limited? What is the story on that? Why we're limited is that we all had this experience before, but it's temporarily erased, and we're in this life in order to really to, to, to experience just just. And we call, I call it the real stuff. We and that's really wrong. We're experiencing the real stuff. We go through all kinds of stuff, but you have, we have to be limited in order to really fully understand, to fully experience. The real stuff. The real stuff. One of the tools that God uses, and, and probably the most important tool of all, is how we learn, how we get the experiences, how we assimilate all the stuff, all the knowledge that we're gaining in this life, is the law of opposition. I've talked about this before. You have to know one to know the other. You love, you hate, beauty, ugliness, so on and so forth, night and day, all the different opposites. But what we learn out of the experiencing one to the other, we find we find the middle somewhere, and and we're 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 experiencing it all. And our life is, you know, and I talked about this in the other video. It gets tough, everybody. It has its moments, and and there, and we have that relationship with God. But it has to be real, everybody. We are born. We we actually chose to be in this life. We chose to to experience the real stuff in, in, in every way. And you sit in your car and you walk and you would see all these people. Every one of these people that you see are experiencing, they're, they're going through their journey. You go to an airport, and I'm, I'm sometimes with my wife, you know, we've had some flights, we, you know, we take some flights, go to Chicago, family, whatever it is, and you just want people. And it's like, you, it's just, you know, you can get into watching people, but every person you're looking at and you, 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 and at the time when you're looking at these people, you feel there's a kind of an interconnection. You're kind of, and I don't know how to explain it to you, but I think you understand it, that you're, you're seeing other people, but you're seeing yourself in so many ways, and and we're all interrelated. That's the stunning thing about all this. We are all, and and before we were born, we fully understand. What it meant to be interrelated to each other. We are actually, the, you know, quote unquote, brothers and sisters. We're all born from God. We're all nurtured by God. We were all in the light by God. We were taken care of. We were loved in the light. All of every person that you see in your car, in the airport, you go grocery shopping, every person you're walking by them, everybody has got their journey. You're experiencing the laws of opposition. You have to know one to know the other. And somewhere in the middle is where we get, get the experience. And why am I talking about this? Sometimes we really have to take a step back. It's important to take a step back and see life in a way. There's a bigger picture, everybody. And boy, we know that big picture. We do know it before this lifetime. We knew the big picture. But the truth of the matter is, before this lifetime, it was theoretical. We had to come down to experience the real stuff. We're in the real stuff. The best way I can explain it, we're in this real stuff. And we have to work our, you know, to understand things. Things go on in our life, and we have our moments. And stuff I see at the hospital, everybody, God, I just keep reiterating it over and over again, how terrible, how things can happen to people. And it, we're all experiencing everything. We have our ups and downs, and, and boy, oh boy. The only thing is, too, is that, you know, at the end, and I, and I did another story before this one about if only I had known. That is a really big, I mean, that is a statement to make. If only I had known. We didn't know before, but now you go back to it and you finally realize all that you knew, all how we're interrelated to each other, and how we love each other, and how God loves us all, and He's, you know, He's in us, and I talked about that too. It's, we're all interrelated to each other. I wanted to give the picture, everybody, to take a step back and 
from the side a little bit and take a look at the bigger picture. I'm going to go ahead and edit. I appreciate your time and um, more videos on the way, but I got to tell you, everybody, we're here. We're here, everybody, and we're experiencing. We have our. We're going through. We're going through whatever we experience. And every person I said before, you know, every person got that journey. And I and I just reiterate again: you sit in your car, you hit the airport, wherever you may be, a grocery shopping, and just everybody, everybody is has got their journey. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I appreciate your time. Thanks again for watching this video, and until the next one. As always, I hope your day is going well. Until the next one, thanks again for watching it.